I want to thank all of you for being here today. Uh, we all know that we're here honoring Jordan and Sandy's life and their leadership for being bright lights uh, in philanthropy and for making huge differences in people's lives. But the, to me, there, there seems at least to be some tension in these kinds of events. Because at its core, and the award we're talking about is the Humanitarian Award. But at its core, being a humanitarian is about making a choice, a very conscious decision that changing just one life is important. And it's not about public recognition. A conscious choice to try and change a life does not just happen. It's a way of looking at the world and how you want to be in the world and what you want the world to be like. Opportunities to do good exist all around us, but unless your eyes are open to that potential, you walk right by because most of the time, the opportunities don't show themselves by someone ringing a bell saying, bell saying pay attention. Often, these kinds of opportunities, large and small, just happen. And if you're not living a conscious awareness of the importance of how a life can be affected, that opportunity is passed by, lost forever. Not long ago, Jordan and Sandy were at our house for a simple dinner. The talk turned to books we had all read to our children. I showed them a book that 20 years ago we had read to our boys. It was called The Philharmonic Gets Dressed. I wanted them to see it for their grandchildren. That was my sense at the moment, but it was not theirs. <laughs> After reading the book, the first thing that Jordan and Sandy said was, we have to give this to each of the Harmony kids. And so I embarked with them on the path of finding the publisher of this decades-old book, getting an order for nearly 200, and then going with Sandy to hand them out one afternoon at Sheridan Way School. But the journey didn't end there. While we were at the school, one of the Harmony kids, who is now in middle school, was helping out. She oftentimes came back to be a leader to the younger students. She was talking about her love of playing the flute and how she dreamed of a piccolo. She was working hard to raise the money to buy that piccolo. She told Sandy she was close, so close to the amount that she needed. Sandy asked her how much was needed to buy it, and the next thing I knew, she was opening her wallet. There was no hesitation. It was in the moment. No one else was there. It wasn't about accolades. It was a simple act of humanity, in the moment, without hesitation. Some would call what Jordan and Sandy do quiet acts of generosity. When done, Jordan and Sandy doing them never know whether or not it will change a life, be something big or something small. And it doesn't matter. And for all of us in this room, the impact is enormous, whether we know of a particular or specific event or not. When they choose to act in this way, and they do it, they really do it, in practice, day in and day out, it brings all of us along on that journey, whether we know it or not, like the wake of a boat pulling the water behind it. The measure of humanity of Jordan and Sandy is not in the number of awards or presentations like this or articles in the newspaper or photographs hanging on walls. While all of those are important and reflect leadership in our community, they are in truth not what makes for a humanitarian. How many times have we heard of people writing checks for name recognition while knowing about that person in their life that in truth it's not about making the world a better place but rather wanting others to give them kudos. That's the difference between publicly giving whether called a donation or charity and being a humanitarian. Public giving is important. It sets an example to others, to all of us and it sets a tone, a very important tone 
in our community the importance of giving back. But being a humanitarian is quite different. It's not about recognition or publicity. It is instead a way of moving through life and acting purposely to change the world through direct and sometimes quite small or seemingly insignificant interactions. A pebble dropped in the middle of a still pond sends ripples out and out all the way to the edges. Once, many years ago, Jordan and Sandy were at a restaurant having a meal. They started talking to the waitress. We have all had this experience with Jordan and Sandy. A conversation turns personal quickly because they really care and are interested in who you are and what you are doing. So it was with this waitress, who was struggling as a single mom trying to make ends meet. Quietly, without a request, without anybody knowing, they left a tip of several thousand dollars. They were not looking for more. They were not asking for recognition. It was not about having their name in the paper. They recognized at that moment an opportunity, and it resonated with them as humanitarians. A pebble was dropped. From that act, a relationship developed, and a whole world unfolded for that woman and her children. The specifics do not matter other than to know that the result has changed lives. That is what happens when you act as a humanitarian. And it was not just the life of the waitress and her family that changed. It was Jordan and Sandy's. Their conscious choice in that moment to act with an open heart, no expectations, no accolades, no public recognition, enriched them and changed the world one person at a time. Harmony Project, Rubicon, the New West Symphony, and so many others, really so many others that many of us don't even know about, large and small. They are all no different, whether through giving time, service, effort, and sometimes just quiet wisdom and advice that you will never know about. Jordan and Sandy have step, tried, step by step, to do something that is so easy to say, but really so hard to do, which is to make a difference. Look at Harmony Project here in Ventura. It started with a vision. It was the hope of changing just one life through the wonder of music. They knew that the process of learning music meant teaching responsibility, taking care of an instrument, something many of the children would never have. It meant learning discipline and dedication, practicing, being on time to lessons, having to move forward with peers as a group. It meant respect, learning respect, respect for instruments, teachers, and others in a group because music takes everyone working together for the common purpose, the sound. Jordan and Sandy knew that by making these opportunities available, it would change lives. Not just the appreciation of music, but fundamentally, how these children are in the world now and how they will be in the future. Peter and I have a deep, truly deep gratitude to each of you for so much of the good that is in our lives. On this day and in this place, we want to express our very personal thank you for being our mentors and our teachers. You have taught us by example you have nudged us to become more involved. And in so doing, you have allowed us to find our better selves. That is a wonderful gift. As the Beatles once said, and in the love, and in the end, the love you take is equal to the love you make. That is what a humanitarian is all about. It's about the balance of love. It is an enrichment not just in the lives touched and changed and altered, but for the two of you as well, for it's changed your lives. And you have chosen in a very purposeful fashion to live your lives as humanitarians, to make a difference in the world just because. You two, both of you, are rare, rare indeed. 
you have made a difference in this world and the way you have lived is an important lesson for all of us. to say something. Mm. Thank you all for being here. Sit down. <laughs> One of the nicest things about Ventura is the people that live in it. One of the nicest things about Ventura is the ability to go forward with some of these projects that we thought were so dear to us and that went forward. We did a good thing when we started Harmony. It's worked, it's going, and it'll continue to go. And as I'm hearing, it's going to go all over the country. We need to concentrate right here. This place needs harmony. These children need harmony. And harmony needs, is a word that sort of represents what it's all about. Keeping people together in tune and the devotion to whatever you're charitable um, feelings are to whatever you're building your capital for. But I really uh, want to thank you for these awards. Sandy and I are very, very happy. We don't know we, the, how uh, happy we are <laughs> because the tears keep coming. This project does cause you to shed a few tears. It's just when you see these kids playing, when you know what you've done for them, where they're going, where they would have gone before, it's, it, it does get you in your heart. So help us support it. Help us keep it alive, and we will all be the great benefactors and great get the reward of all of this. So wait for the next part of this, which is coming up immediately. <laughs> They're going to knock your socks off. Right?